Hello everybody, this is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on Android Framework Components. Today we will understand what is this mainline module introduction in Android Q. So Google has made a major changes called Project Mainline and we'll go ahead and see what is that. Before moving on to mainline module, I wanted to just tell you all in Android Oreo, okay, Google introduced Project Treble. So from Android Oreo onwards, Google introduced a major project which is called as Project Treble. What does this Project Treble do? It will just separate the lower level of code which is created by silicon vendors from the android operating system framework so silicon vendors one example i can give is qualcomm okay so what happens in project treble is lower level of code created by silicon vendors is separated from main android operating system framework why this is done so that device manufacturers can update the operating system without having to rely on silicon vendors to refresh lower level of code for every release so whenever any changes is made in the android framework the device manufacturers there are multiple device manufacturers right they used to always depend on silicon vendors like qualcomm from this treble onwards they need not depend on qualcomm the lower level changes they need not depend they can just make changes in their framework so uh, a lower level is separated from the framework okay that is done through project treble now let's see what is this project mainline so from android q onwards which is also called as android 10 from android q onwards google has introduced project mainline so this alters how android operates as an operating system with more power now resting in the hands of google than ever before so what is project mainline mainline is a way to update the core parts of the android directly from google in a way that you are already familiar with the google play store so through google play store the core parts of the android operating system are updated okay mainline is another change that will help android phones get critical and essential updates a lot sooner because none of the changes will require system update from the phone manufacturer so earlier what used to happen there used to be 100 different companies which used to grab source code and build 100 slightly different versions of android Okay, keeping the devices all up to the date is a mountain of work. It also depends on the company who made the phone because technically they also designed the operating system. The extra cool features that phone manufacturers, manufacturers add are a double-edged sword that make the software better but also they make it updating a lot more work so there used to be a lots and lots of work behind the scenes before every update before every android update so mainline project is intended and it is targeted to change that now the updates are a lot sooner because none of the changes will require system update from the phone manufacturer. The phone manufacturer need not worry. Google will take care of everything. Whenever any core part has to be updated, the entire system update is not required. Okay. Google will update only the core parts through the Google Play. That is what is called as mainline project. Now we'll see how does this mainline work. So mainline takes 12 core components of Android and makes them a little more modular. Previously these components required a full system update if any changes were made. But with mainline they can be updated through the Play Store. Google breaks these 12 components into three categories and we will see what are those so security privacy and consistency the 12 modules google has identified and it has 
broken it into security privacy and consistency three different fields so under security uh, security we can see media codex media framework components dns resolver cons conscript so related um, all related to media that comes under security now if any change is made in the media framework the whole system update should not be done okay we can just update only the media framework through the google play store so under privacy we can see these are the components under consistency we can see these are the components so it reduces time and also the device manufacturers the android manufacturers need not worry about all this google will do it by itself so mainline brings a new file container that google calls apex a new file called apex was introduced it's nothing but android pony express and these files are distributed the same way and app is distributed so you see an update in the play store and you have to tap on the button okay or you have to have automatic updates enabled the settings enabled in your phone so if you if you tap on your button on this play store button it downloads this apex file to your phone where a bit of software that knows how to handle them gets to work okay so you all can see this is the screenshot you can see the message google play system update available and you have to just click on that button apex file will be downloaded now okay apex is nothing but it's a new file format uh, google have developed similar to apk but with a fundamental difference that apex is loaded much earlier in the booting process so compared to apk this apex file it is loaded much earlier in the booting process so as a result of this important security and performance improvements that previously needed to be part of full os updates can be downloaded and installed easily through an app update so i hope you all understood what is this project mainline see earlier earlier to android 10 you could see a notification telling android system is ready to update this notification you could see right so when you click on this notification few bug fixes and feature enhancement will be sent by google and your phone will be updated and also once google update your phone these pro uh, phone manufacturers device manufacturers they need to take care whether the phone is updated they need to track they had to track okay so it was a big major headache so to uh, reduce all this dependency of the device manufacturers regarding these updates google has introduced this project mainline which enables us to keep the os on devices fresher improve consistency and bring the latest aosp code to users faster users will get these critical fixes and enhancement without having to take a full operating system update you need not update your entire os whereas you can update only the core components okay this will reduce time and it's a more efficient process right now in android q google has identified few components whereas in future from android r, r onwards uh, google may uh, bring more enhancements and improvisations to this project mainline so i hope you you all are clear with what is project mainline which is introduced by google thanks again everyone i'll see you all in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye